G'day viewers and welcome back to the shed. In this video, I'm going to give you my long-term uh, review and thoughts on uh, Toyo's Open Country AT2 uh, tyres. So before I get started, I just want to say that this review is just completely my own thoughts and opinions, uh, basically of my use and driving style of these uh, tyres over the course of around 90,000 kilometres. Also worth noting is uh, previously this set of tyres, I was uh, running uh, Bridgestone's all AT uh, D694s uh, for, well, quite a few years. Uh, so many of my thoughts and, and comparisons that I come up with, it's basically a, a comparison of how they perform to those. Now I choose to run a AT style tread pattern for my vehicle as its use is mainly a daily driver, uh, you know, during the, during the school runs, uh, during the weekdays, uh, basically get some odd weekend off-road, uh, but the majority of our off-road use comes during school holidays, and that's then mostly a touring style of driving, so again, a lot of blacktop, uh, a lot of gravel roads, nothing too hardcore. The majority of time I've run these tyres, I was living in the Pilbara, so they copped a fair bit of uh, Pilbara gravel roads in that time and if you've been in that direction you'll know that they can be pretty harsh at times. The tyre size I ran on the disco uh, for this set was a 265-65-17. Uh, now as I just mentioned uh, the total time I've had these tyres uh, is just under 90,000 kilometres. I run with two spares and they've been regularly rotated through all six tyres and that's equal to each tyre covering around uh, two-thirds of that, so about 60,300 k's I worked out. Uh, this set didn't quite make uh, full life due to some alignment issues I had with the Disco just towards the end of those uh, tyres life. However, if you were to run them down to the minimum uh, two and a half mil wear bars, uh, then they could potentially have done you know, around 95,000 k's for each tyre. I regularly record tyre wear versus kilometres, so that showed up wear rates between uh, 4,700 to 7,100 kilometres uh, per millimetre of wear. Uh, the brand new tread depth was 13 mil, uh, and at the end of life, when I changed them over, they were sitting between 3 to 5 mil. Overall, I felt the wear rates on the AT2s to be acceptable. Uh, they were certainly not significantly worse or, or better than any brand I've run in the past uh, either. I did notice at the end of their lives that the tyres had developed some uh, minor rubber cracking uh, just in the tread voids. And, and that was just sort of due to the tyre age. This is it's probably been more noticeable than uh, other brands I've run in the past as well. Uh, but at the same token, it hasn't been a cause of any concern uh, or, or problem, so it's not generally an issue. So first up, surface performance. So blacktop, where unfortunately they spend the majority of the time. So dry bitumen, haven't had any issues at all. Uh, they grip quite well, uh, the brake, steer, no problems. Uh, they're basically as good or on par with most other brand AT tyres I've run. However, when that bitumen gets wet, I found the toyos to be poor, to be kind. Uh, in fact, this is probably my single biggest issue with these tyres. Uh, when the roads were damp, I just found the ABS kicked in under moderate braking, traction loss under power from the standing start, and I found that in the disco, I've got quite noticeable understeer. Uh, it's probably due to the fact that it's quite a rear heavy vehicle. I also want to mention that the majority of my wet road driving experience with these tyres was definitely on the back half of their life. You know, obviously living in the Pilbara for the first half of their life, not much wet river. I've seen, just noticed on another reviewer who mentioned the wet road performance dropped off as the, uh, as the tyre age in his experience. Uh, if you're interested in that review, uh, I'll throw a link up here and you can check that out. Second opinion, it's not just me. So, gravel road grip, uh, also found acceptable. Uh, had decent performance, uh, can't complain, basically like any other AT. Flotation on the beach was also very good, however, I found they required a little more pressure for the same footprint compared to other tyres. The pressure, coincidentally, uh, on the highway uh, was also a little bit higher than other tyres I've run. For example, 
uh, at 40 psi in the rear, they physically looked underinflated. So I ended up running 50 psi in the rear during normal running, uh, 55 on my camper trailer attached. That's just to make them look inflated. So the sidewalls definitely feel like they're a little light. But in saying that, I've only had one single puncture the whole time I've run this set of tyres. And that was a tech screw, which, you know, no other tyre would have fared any better. But they just go through everything. Can't comment on mud, uh, as I haven't really driven these uh, with this, but I can only assume that they wouldn't be the best terrain for them. Yeah, and that really applies to pretty much all all terrains anyway. I mean, they're not, it's not their ideal environment. So overall, I've been reasonably happy with the tyres. However, that wet road performance I mentioned earlier, uh, that I, I found to be lacking, and basically it's not something I was willing to compromise on. And it's basically for that reason alone uh, that I've chosen not to run with them again when uh, the time came to replace them. So I've now moved to Falcon uh, Wild Peak ATs uh, and I'm going to do a, a short term review on those uh, shortly as well. So uh, yeah, but let me know your comments running the tyres if you run them uh, in the comments below. Uh, you know, so what do you think? So there you have it guys, that sums up my thoughts on the Toy Open Country All-Terrain 2s. Uh, if you enjoyed this video and you haven't subscribed, then click that subscribe button now. Uh, as always, don't forget to leave a comment uh, and click the like or dislike button. So thanks very much for watching guys. Uh, thank you for your time. I'll see you next time. Cheers.